Hey guys, let's simplify this thing. Negative root two, fourth root of 105, i, whole thing to the fourth power. So i is not just a random variable. It's the imaginary number such that i squared is equal to negative one. And then everything else is pretty straightforward. This negative is essentially a negative one, so it's gonna be negative one to the fourth power. And then this square root of two will become square root of two to the fourth power. And then this fourth root of 105 will become fourth root of 105 to the fourth power. And then this i will become i to the fourth power. Let's look at all four of these independently. Negative 1 to the 4th means negative 1 multiplied 4 times, and negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is still equal to 1, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And then square root of 2 to the 4th power is square root of 2 multiplied 4 times. So this square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 2, and so is this one. And then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then the 4th root of 105 to the 4th power, this 4th root and 4th power will cancel each other out, and we're just left with 105. And then i to the 4th would be equal to i squared times i squared. And as we talked about earlier, i squared is equal to negative 1. So both of these are negative 1s. And negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. Now we're ready to simplify this. Negative 1 to the 4th was equal to 1. Square root of 2 to the 4th was equal to 4. Fourth root of 105 to the 4th was equal to 105. And i to the 4th was equal to 1. 1 times 4 times 105 times 1 is equal to 420. Nice. And let's put a box around it. So this expression simplifies to 420. How exciting.